You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! About win rates! You can't handle the truth! It's really tough to become a winner at poker. But once you climb that mountain and are able to beat the games you play in, then what? After you become a winning player, it's time to start thinking about how to best use your time at the tables. In this video, we'll discuss the truth about win rate and how to squeeze the most possible profit out of your poker sessions. For online players trying to maximize how much they make of the game, it's actually less about trying to just have the highest win rate possible and more about optimizing their hourly rate. I mean, you could be the biggest crusher in the world, but if you're playing too many tables or not enough, you are likely to make a lot less money over the long term versus someone who is maybe a mediocre player but plays the perfect number of tables to fit the games he is playing based on his win rate and the reward system in place on the chosen poker site. To that end, I'll give you two ways to determine your optimal number of tables with the goal of maximizing your long-term hourly rate. Before we get into the two techniques I recommend for optimizing the number of tables you play, we need to figure out what type of poker site you play on. If you are on a site that uses a recreational model and has a lot of recreational players on it, there's usually going to be a low VIP reward system. If you are on such a site, you're usually better off playing somewhere between two and eight tables in order to obtain a high win rate and in turn an optimal hourly rate. On the other hand, if you play on a site more geared toward grinders that has a lot of bonuses, rake back, or rake race type rewards, you are often much better off mass multi-tabling somewhere between eight and 24 tables. Your goal in this situation is to find that sweet spot between win rate and maximizing rewards. Often a break even to slight win rate will be optimal. Now before going forward, I recommend that you move down at least one stake in order to do these exercises since it might require you to play outside of your comfort zone while using this trial and error technique. This also assumes that you are at least somewhere in the neighborhood of a four big blind or better winner when you are only playing one or two tables. If you are barely squeezing out a one or two big blind win rate while playing four tables or less, then you are better off sticking to a very low number of tables while you continue learning and improving. The first method that you can use to find your best number of tables is also the easiest and is based more on feel than anything else. In fact, you can find your perfect number of tables in less than an hour. All you do is start with two tables and play as normal. Every five minutes, just add one more table. Once you feel rushed on decisions and are not able to put in the necessary thought process to make quality decisions, drop back one table and you have found your ideal number of tables to play in your sessions. Just make sure you are objective and honest with yourself. After all, it's your win rate you are messing with. The one drawback to this method is that it only maximizes your raw multi-table win rate and does not take into account any VIP reward system that a poker site might offer. Therefore, this method works best for players who grind on sites with low player rewards and not a lot of rate back or bonuses to try and maximize. If there are a lot of those type of rewards on your site, you may want to go to the trouble of using the second method. The second way to find your optimal number of tables might take you a few days or even a few weeks before you find that perfect number. Also, you will need a tracking program like Hold a Manager or Poker Tracker, which has the ability to show the following stats. Once again, you might want to move down in stakes before performing this exercise. What you do is load up the maximum number of tables allowed on the site or as many as you feel like you could possibly keep up with. This will vary for everyone since being able to mass multi-table is definitely a learned skill that takes practice. Some might think that eight tables is a crazy amount to play while others are bored playing 24 tables. Go with whatever you think you could handle without disastrous results. But push the boundaries as much as possible. Once you decide on a starting number, play as normal. Every time you win a sizable pot or double up, just close out that table and keep playing. I call this the gradual table reduction method of playing. 
or GTR, which I covered a few years ago in my book Automatic Poker. Once you are down to four tables in the session, it might take you a few dozen sessions to get enough data to get a relative idea of what your optimal number of tables is. You will also want to set the poker tracking tab to EV win rate to help take variance out of the equation. Once you have a lot of hands in your database, you should be able to get a pretty good relative idea of what your optimal number of tables is by looking at the overall report in Hold'em Manager or the equivalent in Poker Tracker. Take a look at what your hourly rate is per table based on the total number of tables being played. For example, if your overall raw hourly rate is $12 an hour and you average six tables at a time, then your average hourly rate per table is $2. From that average, you can extrapolate what your hourly rate per table would be based on the number of tables being played. If your multi-table stats show that you become break-even at around 12 tables, then you could do the math and make assumptions about what your hourly rate is per table when playing two, four, six tables, etc. You don't have to be perfect here. Just take a look at the trends and make your best guess on what your hourly rate is per table when multi-tabling. Make sure you base your rakeback hourly rate to include any VIP rewards and rakeback based on your volume of play, should you play a particular number of tables. On some sites, this increases exponentially as you play more volume. To help you out, if you go to my website at automaticpoker.com forward slash win rate, I give a lot more information on the subject and also provide a downloadable multi-table hourly rate chart to help you in your quest. Now, for those of you who are strictly MTT or sit and go players, you can actually use a similar technique to find your best ROI to optimize your hourly rate. Just use the same methodology and either fill your way or GTR your way to a higher hourly rate. Besides, most of you already do GTR since any tournament multi-tabler is constantly busting out until they are down to just a couple of tables left anyway. In fact, the data you need to optimize your sessions might already be sitting in your Hold'em Manager or Poker Tracker just waiting to be discovered and used to your benefit. Maybe you should be starting with 8 MTTs in your sessions instead of 12, or maybe 16 instead of 12. Ultimately, not optimizing your schedule could be costing you thousands of dollars a year. In summary, finding that perfect number of tables to play will help you realize your highest possible hourly rate and allow you to make the most money possible. After all, isn't that what the object of the game is? Please comment below and let me know which poker site you play on and what your perfect multi-tabling setup is. I'm curious to know what you guys come up with. Now go get busy winning more money and thanks for watching.